Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Hello friends, Even good morning! I'm... Welcome to another day in the life vlog Today is Friday, April 3rd, and Brandon and I both have the day off, so we've had a nice slow morning, slept in a little, had breakfast together. It's been really nice. I'm still working on my coffee. I always savor it and <laughs> sip on it for hours. I microwave it like 20 times, but it's really yummy. And the first thing that I want to do today is make chocolate-covered croissants. I made bread for the first time and I was able to find yeast at the grocery store the last time I went So now that I have yeast I can bake so many fun things So we're gonna try to make chocolate covered croissants, but I heard they can be kind of tricky. So We'll see. I'll take you guys along for the journey and I've just been loving baking so much So I think that'd be fun and Brandon and I want to go for a bike ride later to get some fresh air But we're gonna make it a good day. I'm wearing my have a happy day merch So fun and I can't wait to spend the day with you guys. Here's a little outfit of the morning I'll probably change to shorts if we go on a bike ride later because it is toasty in Florida the last couple days It's been really nice, but it warmed up today like I said, I have my have a happy day tea on. It makes me smile. Then I have um, my everyday necklaces, which I do get a lot of questions about. So the big chain one is from Free People. I just got it. And then the little sunshine one right here is from Majuri. And then this one, the bar one that says Inspire, is from a really old FabFitFun box. I've had it for like four years. So <laughs> that's where they're from. And then I'm wearing these comfy sweats from Boohoo. It's part of like the sweat set that I always wear. And then my favorite slippers from Amazon. And this coffee mug is from Ikea. I've been loving the clear glass mu mugs. I think it's so fun to see like when you pour in the coffee with your creamer. It's just really beautiful. Okay, I'm pulling up the recipe that I'm going to use for the croissants. And contrary to what I assumed, I thought the Mastering the Art of French Cooking cookbook would have a croissant recipe but i did not see one they have a lot of amazing other recipes though so I'm definitely gonna make one soon but i'm just craving a chocolate croissant so i found this one on tasty and it had tons of great reviews and it's very visual so hopefully that'll help as well so yeah let's do it you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down Okay, so I'm just looking at the recipe more in depth and it looks like these recipes to make chocolate covered croissants take like 24 hours because you have to leave the dough overnight, which is crazy. Also, I don't really have enough butter, so I am just not prepared. I am not set up for success. So I don't know. I'm going to look for different recipes and see what else I could make. I'm trying to think if there's anything that might be a little easier, but still delicious. Ugh, I don't know. I really want to make these soon, but I don't know if it's in the cards for today. We need to brainstorm. Okay, after further compliment... Okay, after further contemplation, I have decided that I am not going to settle for second best. The only thing that sounds good is chocolate covered, chocolate filled croissants. I keep saying chocolate covered croissants, which would also be amazing, I'm sure. Um, so I'm going to make them later today because we have to go to the grocery store anyways. So I'm going to make a grocery list and get everything we need, including more butter. And then I'll make them later tonight and then let them sit overnight like they're supposed to and then finish them up in the morning. So this will be a day in the life into tomorrow. So it's going to be a longer vlog, but hopefully you guys are excited for that. So that's the plan, but I'm honestly getting kind of hungry. It's about 11 a.m. 11 a.m. right now so it's kind of early for lunch time but we usually eat lunch pretty early anyways so i think i'm gonna get started on it and we have some asparagus and some couscous so i think i'm gonna make some garlic lemon 
asparagus couscous for lunch and then get organized, work on editing a video, make a big old grocery list, and that's the new plan. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Okay, I heat up my couscous that I made the other day. So yummy and fluffy. And the asparagus is nice and crispy. Brandon loves it nice and crispy. I'm just so happy he likes asparagus now because a couple months ago he didn't like it, but the air fryer made him like it. And then I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon juice on top and then sprinkle it with some yummy feta. Oops, one got away. I decided to add some cherry tomatoes for some extra veggies and color. So delicious and nutritious. Lunch was delicioso. Chef's kiss. Um, it wasn't that filling though. The portions were kind of small. So I just had some cheese and crackers and Brandon actually made... Um, a peanut butter and honey sandwich and he's eating an apple now but I just got all cozy on the couch I have my heated blanket on it's so com comforting and I am going to work on editing a video it's my self-care routine so I'm trying to post it on Sunday so in a couple days and I'm really excited about it but I have a lot of editing to do I just did a little change. I changed out of my sweatpants into these really cute pink shorts that I actually have a matching blazer with. They're so, so fun. I love them so much. And we are about to head out on our bike ride, but first it's iced coffee time. Gotta make some iced coffee, give me some fuel. And also while we're outside, I really wanna take a photograph in this Have a Happy Day shirt because I wanna do a giveaway. So I'll probably post it on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. Um, but I wanna do like a little merch giveaway and an Easter giveaway just to kind of like spread some happiness and bless one of you guys with some goodies. So that's the plan. Hopefully we can get a cute little picture. I don't think it'll be too hard because this shirt is so fun. Okay, put a lot of crushed ice in here. Now I'm gonna pour in the rest of my coffee from this morning. I really need to make more cold brew because I ran out of that. But that'll work for now. And then, I already have this open, the La Colum Mocha Draft Latte. Um, and I think I mentioned this a lot before, but basically we make this little can into four different coffee servings. So I just open it and pour a little bit with my leftover coffee from the morning or my cold brew. And it's a really great way to add like more elevated flavor to the iced coffee while also not just going through too many of these because that can get really expensive and it also has like sugar and stuff. So it's a win-win. from our bike ride it was really nice got some fresh air a little vitamin d so feeling good and it's only about five right now i think it's just about to turn five but i am hungry brandon are you hungry not like you're hungry not like me and i get hangry so we need to make some dinner usually i have a snack and today we didn't really have a snack we just ate lunch and then 
um, went on our bike ride, so I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the hunger. <laughs> so we're gonna make some cauliflower pizza crust pizza, and then I'm gonna get started on my croissants before I have Bible study at seven, so I don't have too much time, and these croissants are seriously gonna be such a journey. It's so crazy, but hopefully it'll be fun and I'll enjoy it and they'll taste good. But in the meantime, let's get some pizza. Okay, here is our beautiful cauliflower pizza. This is the crust I get. It's cauliflower, cauliflower. So basically it's just like a cauliflower crust. And then we top it with tomato sauce, uh, mozzarella cheese, shredded garlic, onions, green peppers, and then a bunch of like little mini peppers, banana peppers, and I did red pepper flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, and oregano, so. And ground pepper, so it is just decked out. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I'm supposed to put this metal. Dinner is served. Look at that beauty. We have a little side spinach salad with some Caesar dressing. Bon appetit. Okay guys, it's time to tackle these chocolate croissants. This is gonna be a 14 hour journey, but we're beginning it right now. I put my ingredients out except for my butter and egg because I wanted to keep those nice and cool. Oh, and my milk, which I'm using coconut milk. Hopefully that's okay because I don't have regular milk. So fingers crossed, but let's do this. The amount of butter in this recipe is insane. Oh my goodness. Two sticks of butter and one fourth, like, oh, okay, two and a half sticks of butter. That's how much it is. So crazy. And there's like a layer, it's gonna be a layer of butter. It's all gonna like be mixed together at some point, but wow, this is so fascinating. So basically, I put the parchment paper over it and then I roll it out to kind of thin and thin and even it out and put it in the fridge for an hour. Okay, I'm taking a little baking break because I'm about to have a virtual little Bible study get together with my small group, my little Bible study girls. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm like scrambling though. I just put the butter in the fridge, but I'm right on time. Bible study it was so good so refreshing such great reminders and just community even though we cannot be together right now I'm so thankful for zoom and FaceTime and Skype and all of those things because I mean it's just so nice to be able to talk to people and all of that good stuff but basically we just kind of what we do in Bible study and what we did tonight was we went around the room and just shared our highs and lows of the week or in the past few weeks because we haven't been able to meet for a couple weeks now so we just shared like what's been hard and you know any praises we've had and then uh, we each shared a verse a bible verse or like a passage so a collection of verses that have been really just inspiring to us and helpful to us so the one that i shared is psalm 46 1 and it says God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble and There are so many other amazing beautiful verses that were shared as well um, But it was just really 
such a great reminder that even though there's so many awful things happening in the world like god is our strength and he provides a peace for us that nothing else in the world could possibly provide and he's the one who is able to heal this and just knowing that he cares for us and he protects us and he is in control of this all is so comforting and getting me through so that's just so good and i'm so thankful for the girls and thankful that god is good and even though we might not understand why this all is happening there is a greater purpose and there has been so much beauty that's kind of happened through all this i mean personally i actually feel closer to my family even though i'm not able to see them i've been facetiming them and doing zoom family meetings and stuff and i really feel like it's kind of bonded us and that can even be said for the whole world like i feel like i'm closer to people that i've never even met like on the whole opposite side of the globe because we're all kind of dealing with this and we're all in this together and it's provided this sense of unity and strength that when we work together and when we come together in love beautiful things can happen so there is so much good it, i know it can be hard to focus on that but that's what I've been trying to harp on is just all the beautiful things that are, are left in this world and that will continue to be enjoyed. So, yeah, but that's good. It's about 8 p.m. now and I'm getting a little sleepy. Grandma over here, but I need to go tend to my croissants. So let me see what my next thing is. The next thing I need to do is roll out the dough on the counter and then I put the butter layer on top of the dough and then roll it all out and so that's the plan let's do it I don't even know how to explain this so basically I rolled out the dough and then I put my butter layer on the dough and then like wrapped up the sides and kind of like sealed it if that makes sense and now I have to put it in the fridge for another hour and wait it's such a process I'm on step 14 and there's 31 steps so we're not even halfway done but I hope it turns out okay. I know you can't really go wrong with like two sticks of butter and bread and chocolate, but I'm nervous because I'm so invested at this point. But it's been fun. And while I'm waiting for that to cool off, I guess, or firm, I am going to take my makeup off, take a shower, get ready for bed so that when this gets out, I can do the next step. And then let me see what is the next step. Okay, so basically the next step is to roll out the dough again two more times and you do this three turns in total and refrigerate one hour in between each turn. So basically I'm gonna be up all night. Okay, I migrated to the couch and it's making me so sleepy just lying here. I could honestly fall asleep right here, right now. I really wanna take my makeup off, but Brandon's shaving in the bathroom. And we only have one sink. I guess I could use the kitchen sink. It's kind of weird though. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just wait. Um, but yeah, I need to edit a video. But wow, I'm pooped, guys. Maybe it was being in the sun for our bike ride. That could have done it. Or all the freaking baking. <laughs> I am having fun. I don't want you guys to think that I'm not having fun baking. Because I am having fun. It is very satisfying. Very fun. I love making things. And I really do love cooking and baking. It's just... I don't like waiting for the dough to cool for so long, but I've decided I'm gonna do 45 minute increments for the next three little like 
steps I need to do. So instead of an hour, I'm just gonna do 40 minutes because I gotta get to bed. I gotta get some beauty sleep. Okay, just rolled it out and it's back in the fridge. It's favorite spot. Um, and this is so funny because it's nine o'clock at night, but I really wanna make some coffee. I think I'm being influenced by Lorelai Gilmore in Gilmore Girls because she's always drinking coffee and you guys know I absolutely love coffee so it just always sounds good and just like a cozy warm beverage sounds amazing and I'm not in the mood for tea I want like frothy milk on top which I know lots of people put milk in like steamed or frothed milk milk on like some tea but I just want coffee so I'm gonna make some and it doesn't affect my sleep that much as far in my past experience it doesn't make me energetic at all I think I'm kind of immune to the caffeine Maybe not. I don't know, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna make some coffee, treat yourself, and it'll give me the fuel I need to edit my video and finish rolling out these croissants for the night. <laughs> I feel like I'm going delusional, guys. All right, my French press coffee is brewing. I got my cute little teacup out, and I'm frothing some coconut milk, which is being really loud. I'm excited. a great call I must say it's bringing me a lot of joy mm. yum, yum, yum. just hopped out of the shower so quick because my timer went off and I gotta roll these babies because I'm trying to go to bed tonight <laughs> tonight I am pooped but my dough is all ready to have a cozy well cool night in the fridge and do what it needs to do then we'll finish them up in the morning and they better be worth it but I'll talk to you guys soon good morning friends the chocolate croissant saga continues this morning I got a good night's rest and I'm ready to tackle these little guys and make them delicious so I am really on the last leg so feeling good and cannot wait to eat one I'm not gonna eat anything until I can try a warm fresh out of the oven chocolate croissant so the next thing i need to do is divide the dough in half and then roll it out and then divide them into eight different sections and then add the chocolate roll it and then let it sit for another hour and then we finally are gonna bake them so cheers to finishing these croissants Look at all those layers and the butter. The dough is looking good this morning. So now I am just letting them rise. I think they look good. You can still see the layers that mine are a little more like clumpy than the pictures in the video um like this one especially you can really see the butter clumps so i don't know if i didn't knead it enough or what but i mean hopefully that'll just melt away and make it <laughs> more delicious but who knows these are literally the fattest croissants i've seen in my life Big! Oh. What? Oh, all the steam. So They're huge! <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, get out of the four, not in the back left one, but the four on that one look like really like good and they stuck together. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at matters. those. Look at those wow. guys. They're huge. <laughs> I think they're gonna be good, but holy poop. Alright, we're sweeping these bad boys out. Oh my 
Okay, so we have these that look kind of normal. I mean, definitely not premium, but they look kind of normal. And then we have these. What? What are those? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a journey. Okay, here's all the pretty ones on a pretty pink plate to just, you know, show my best work, but... I am definitely no French baker by any means, but I'm really excited to try one, and this has just been a fun activity in general. And you really, truly cannot go wrong with two sticks of butter, bread, and chocolate. <laughs> okay, the moment has come for our taste test. Oh, I already had some nibbles of just the bread part. And it was good. It was just buttery. No, you go. For Try to get chocolate. the chocolate. You go for I the can't chocolate. reach the chocolate yet. This thing is huge, guys. Mm. You got some. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> it tastes different than like a regular chocolate croissant, but it tastes good. What do you, how does it taste different? You'll see. It's not authentic at all. But it's good. Mmm. Put that inside. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Look at that. Tastes That's like it so, to me. It's so steamy. The layers are amazing. Oh, you want the chocolate? chocolate. <laughs> I love the bread by itself. Oh, that crunch. <laughs> wow. Also, you were supposed to use chocolate bars, but I just had chocolate chips, so. <laughs> so much butter. I know. <laughs> Also, there's egg on top. Quite the journey. Thumbs up, though. All right, that's the end of this vlog. It was so fun. Such an adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Brandon's just going to keep eating the croissant. But I love you guys. I'll see you soon for another home vlog. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. Even if the sky is falling down.